So when you were when you first week back at training on the Monday, did you, did you notice a real difference in the, the standard? Uh, well, that's the first thing everybody asks you, isn't it? Uh, that, um, like, Daddy, what's what's Barry Ferguson like? What, what's uh, it like in training? Um, that's the one question that people say. Is it, uh, is it raised a few notches? Uh, and to be fair, probably when I first joined, it never. No? Nah, because the, the squad that I joined, although they had some good players, it was a transitional period, wasn't it? The team got better and better and better um, as such, which is normal, obviously, because the team weren't very good to start with as such, and it got uh, better and better and better. So the standard raised as, as better players come in, as Davis Hayes comes in, and um, boys like that as such, Kenny Marr come back up the road. So the team just got stronger and stronger and stronger, and before you can it, you were in a team. Them, yeah. Top players, uh, man, uh, man, uh, you know what I mean? And um, you go, you look around the changing room, and you think, there was top players on the bench. There was sometimes top players sitting in the stand. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's how strong the squad was at the time. Did you feel ne Did you feel nervous when, when nah. they type of players came in? Did you? No, really not. I, th yeah. I think I'd. The one thing that Walter always told me was to believe in myself. Uh -huh. That if I had everything. I just need to have a wee bit of a stronger mentality to believe in myself that that Barry wasn't better than me. He's like, that's your. That there's your benchmark to, uh -huh. to make sure you think you're better than him. And to be fair, if you thought you were better than Barry, or you had that mindset, whether you were or you weren't, but you had that confidence, then. He was a good one to gauge yourself on, so, wasn't he? Do you know what I mean? And how he was, was he with you, especially because you were his position and was he... He was great with me when I first came in and he's... Well, obviously, when you know playing with Baz, you'll know the stories of people. He can be difficult to please, can't he? He can, uh, he can, he can be a shouter and a baller, uh, uh, high standards uh, uh, and that, eh? So, he, uh, the first day in training that Wednesday, we played... Um, we done, like, possession and that. And then we done we warm up possession, some doggies. It was a horrible doggy. It was one of the ones where you done one with the ball and the pitch in fours and you had to be the leader. Oh, right, uh, so you had to dribble with the ball uh, nice and fast and they had to follow you. Right, then uh, he said, change A for a minute, and then the next one you go to the back. It was horrible it was. I thought, fuck, what's this? <laughs> <laughs> uh, blown out my hole, what was that? Yeah. And um, we then went into games at the end and I was in Barry's team and I didn't really touch the ball that much, kind of like 6v6 or whatever. Uh -huh. And I went running, eh, and well, you came what I'm like, we shooting, eh? that's probably why he didn't pass to me. <laughs> but he could have passed to me, eh? but he tried to whip one, like reverse it, and he put a pass. I was like, Baz! He's like, fuck what? I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, that's the way it goes, eh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so I thought, all right, I'll no bother shouting for the ball for uh -huh. Barry, Barry type thing. But as you settle, and I, I think we had a couple run-ins in training um, where I clattered them a few times. In respect, and yeah, I, think, I think, I hope, anyway, um, he might think different, but I hope he respected me as a player and a person uh -huh. in the respect that he was one that when I did settle in with him after whatever six months, a year, that he never really used to shout at me. Uh -huh. um, my mate Whitty, for instance, when we used to travel back, he used, used to hate the fact that he shouted at Whitty, Whitty hated that, do you know what I mean? But it, it never really bothered me. Was uh, there boys there that really... Aye, aye, it was funny him. because sometimes... Charlie, the, I think he, cha he was quite hard on Charlie, wasn't sometimes he? Sometimes the closer you were with Baz, i.e. if you wanted to be in his kind of gang, um, sometimes it was the worst he spoke to you. He'd be, um, hard, he'd be yeah. harder on you, such uh -huh. yeah, that's sometimes the way he was as a, as a character. But a wonderful player, eh, and, and great teammate, and... Um, I enjoy playing with him, like he, he uh -huh. taking, a, he taking a phone booth, you know what I mean? Won nah, the ball he always won the ball, I, um, Sometimes, well you know what I'm like, I want it all the time too, yeah, so sometimes it could be a wee bit of a clash where like, he sometimes comes across you into your areas or whatever, uh -huh. and, and you have to kind of balance off him as such, but if you're winning every week and you're playing in a great team, these wee things didn't Can't bother you. As it stood when the transition he was playing Celtic, Celtic had better players than us, they had a better team than us. Um, your Nakamura's and that, uh -huh. we really walked into our team. Uh -huh. um, Hesselinks, you know what I mean, like top players, uh -huh. do you know what I mean? So we were, we had to find a way of beating these top players and the only way we could beat them was in a fight. Uh -huh. So we made old firms a fight. Yet in the end, when we started to get Mendezes and Davises and, and Thompsons and that playing uh -huh. the way we could play, then all of it, it changed a wee bit. They started trying to fight us a wee uh -huh. bit, do you know what I mean? Because we already had the fight in us, it what still it? gave us a hand. What was it? used to say to you before the, uh, the old firm game? I used to say to us if I if I didn't get booked before ten minutes, he's taking me off. Eh? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just because what you knew, you knew you'd be on your game. He, he knew. Uh, he used to always tell me when I went searching for a tackle that that would be it. The team would uh, first and foremost, I would be good, uh -huh. and the team would be good. Eh? So uh -huh. he used to always say to me, "Give me that wee wry smile that you had there." Eh? Uh -huh. um, you can't. You were on his on his side if he smiled uh -huh. at you, uh -huh. and he would say, "How long?" I'm like, ah, what? He used to try and always plead innocent. Eh? Uh -huh. He's like, how long? And he was like, who's getting it? And I was like, I didn't, I didn't get it. Uh -huh. And I still think to this day, the team that, that sets the tempo and gets the, f the first foot in the game, whether it be a tackle, whether it be somebody chasing down 
uh, throwing in the bottom corner getting or whatever, getting the team on. Ah, uh-huh. just wee silly things. Eh? Uh-huh. It's so important in the big games because effectively the big games are not much shite, aren't they? Uh-huh. Um, and it comes down to that tiny wee, tiny wee lines. Aye. Uh-huh. Um, and I tried my best. That was my niche in the market. That was me as a player for my team. Um, and I think all my teammates buzzed off the fact that I would be the one that would go searching and try and attempt the set of tempo.